This is good. Wow, really intense chicken aroma here. In this episode, we are going to showcase one of Malaysia's Medan Selera or Hawker Food Center. The diversity in Malaysia all here in one stadium, food court here in Ipoh. Medan Selera Stadium just outside the city center where there's as many as 70 stalls that caters to non-halal and halal eaters. Let us know in the comments below if there's any other hawker food center like this in Malaysia. For now, sit back, relax, grab some snack too. You might get hungry. Minchi Wonton Mi here in Madan Salera Stadium, uh, Parak Stadium here. And it was awesome that there's different shifts. You can come here during the day, like now, and they have certain stalls that are open, but you come at night, you have different stalls open. That's the beauty of this. There's like 70 stalls here. So really excited to try this one. This one's got the, the uncle making the, the, got the fresh wonton, fresh noodle, peeling the shrimp over there. Let's give this one a go. It looks delicious. It's good noodles here. It doesn't have that like funky taste that some wonton noodle may have. It's really good. We have the char siu here. And I'm gonna add some of these chilies though. Gotta add those pickled chilies. What's nice too is that the sauce is not too salty. But I really am curious about these wontons. Really like petite, small looking ones. Slight uh, sesame oil flavor in the broth. It's nice, very nice, like simple. Good kind of noodle breakfast to start us off here. So excited for this. We love banana leaf rice. We're here at Sri Asoka Corner. And you show up here, everything just happens fast. You put down the banana leaves, they scoop up these greens, they scoop up, I'm not sure what this is, it looks like potato. They give you a rice, you pop it up, and they give us the whole thing of curries on the side for you self serve. We love that. So excited, it smells amazing here. This banana leaf rice is ready to go. I just bonjured the rice, probably too much, but. Why not? On the side, we order some black pepper chicken and some mutton curry. A big bite of this bungeered rice. It looks so good. Great flavor in this curry. Creamy, it's got a nice spice to it. Little kick, grab a piece of this black pepper chicken. Uh, the woman here, very nice. She's highly recommended black pepper chicken, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh, it's good flavor here. Let's try this mutton curry. Always have to order mutton, any banana leaf rice place we go. Got a nice cinnamon flavor. You can definitely taste the mutton here though. Mutton lovers only. Up next, we're having nasi dagam for this breakfast edition here. And we just got back from East Coast, so which means we're kind craving a little bit of um, East Coast food. So here we are at stall number 59, Sudut Silera. And look at that. Ooh, I like this plate. The beauty here of this food court, you can, you can get uh, Malay food like this, you can get Indian food, you can get Chinese, Nyonya, you name it. It's the diversity in Malaysia all here in one stadium food court here in Ipoh. It's beautiful. The rice looks good. It's like a mix. There's some uh, reddish brown greens. Mmm. Ooh. Very coconutty flavor. There's a little lemongrass in here too. Very fragrant rice. Already happy with that. Now, gotta add the fish. Let's take a bite. Mmm. This is good. A lot of flavor in this fish. I like it, it's on the spicier side. The nasi dagang we had in Terengganu was more on the sweet side. This is more on the spicier side. Kind of like a, more of a curry flavor, other spices in here, really good. Nice bite here, everything. Rice, achar, fish. I love how the achar adds like that pickle flavor. It's crunchy, adds a whole different texture and cuts through the richness a bit, really nice. 
Ooh. My first bite, yes. It is definitely on a spicy side. Okay. It's really good. Okay. Very, Very good. good. <laughs> this place is huge. You may need to have like a week here just to eat in this stadium because there's 70 stalls here. Seven, zero. I'm gonna come back here for dinner. We're back here at Midan Celera Stadium. Another feast. This time it's for dinner time, of course, clearly. This one is um, from Yon Keep. So let me hand you over to Greg to know more details about the food. First, when it equal, eat as much ayam tagi as possible because the tagi is just spectacular. Now I'm gonna try this one here. I'm really excited for it. It's a big plate of chicken here. You got a nice plate of tagi. This is a portion for two. And instead of noodles, we actually have the rice this time. We're gonna switch it up. And it also comes with this cup of broth. It's really cloudy, tan broth. Wow, really intense chicken aroma here. Opposed to some of the other ones that have more of the prawn aroma. And you got two sauces here. We have the chili sauce, and we have, it looks like a soy sauce with chili potty chopped up. First, I'm gonna go with the chicken. It's nice, plump. Mm. Juicy chicken, this one. I like that this sauce has much more of a sesame oil flavor to it as opposed to some of the others that we had a little higher on the soy sauce. And of course, I love the cilantro. I'm excited to have cilantro here. So there's a lot going on in this plate. A little more than some of the other shops that we've tried here in Ipo, which is nice. It's a nice change of pace. Let's try the taugi. Mm. Can't go wrong with the taugi here in Ipo. I think this, I love that they put it in so many things. We even got some dry curry meat from here earlier and we demolished it. It's our little snack, and they had some taugi in there too, because why not? Taugi's so good, you gotta add more taugi. All rice. Mmm. Oh, that's good rice. Is that really gingery, chicken fat kind of rice? Oh, I love it. Next in this food tour, stadium style. It's from Jason's Food and Drinks Corner. Jason's homemade otak otak, actually. So as I was strolling around here in the Hawker Center, I was looking for the next bite and saw a few stalls, but one thing really caught my eye was this homemade otak otak from a stall that just has a very generic name, Jason's Food and Drinks. Seems like the specialty here is drinks and ice kachang, but this otak otak really caught my eye. So banana leaf here, and then there's a layer of fish meat underneath. And on top is the puree fish mousse, you can call it. it smells absolutely incredible. We're huge fans of Otak Otak. Very curious about this one. Let's take a bite. Mmm. Wow. There's so much flavor in here. You really taste. It's coconutty. It's very tender. It's got lemongrass. Definitely taste some lime leaves in here as well. So I love the contrast and textures of that soft mousse layer on top. Then you have that more substantial and chunkier fish meat underneath it. So good. It's just amazing. It's, it's so beautiful inside your mouth. We've had otak otak a few times. This is the style that we really enjoy, this kind of flavor. It's really good. Definitely a sleeper here at this food court. Check it out. So excited for this fish head curry. So again, strolling through the food court, did not know this place existed until we saw it. The sign says Nasi Ayam, that might have been a previous stall, but just look at the sign at the actual stall itself, you can see curry fish head. That Assam curry fish head. So this one looks so rich and thick curry. It looks phenomenal. Oh, that, that's the kind of aroma I love in a fish head curry. This is the really rich curry aroma. You have the tofu puffs, that are gonna soak it all up. You have eggplant, lady fingers, long beans in here. Can't even talk about it anymore. Take a sip of the broth first. Whoa, that's thick, that's rich, that's spicy. Mm. Glad I got some rice to go with it. But man, I, I literally, I could just drink this curry right out of the bowl. Like I said a few times in other dishes, I could just drink it out of a bucket. That's how good this is. I haven't even touched the fish head yet. There it is. I'm using the big spoon. I haven't even gone and taken the little spoon on the side. 
That's how excited I am for this. I'm just using the big spoon. And that's the beauty of a fish head, that it's usually the most tender meat of the fish. Mmm. Fish meat's got a very clean taste. According to the menu, they use grouper, which is nice as it's not, doesn't have any strong overwhelming flavors. It lets that curry shine. So you mix that fish with the curry and it's, it's excellent. This tofu puff's been soaking in here for quite a while. It's gonna taste great. Let's try it out. The size, we actually got a smaller size here instead of the larger, because we've eaten a lot already. This curry fish adds a flavor explosion. I love it. So glad we stopped and got this. Wow.